Carbon dioxide is the currency of life and the most important building block for all life on Earth. All life is carbon-based, including our own. Surely the carbon cycle and its central role as the foundation of life should be taught to our children, rather than the demonization of CO2 that carbon is a pollutant. We know for a fact that CO2 is essential and that it must be at a certain level in the atmosphere for the survival of plants, which are the primary food for all the other species alive today. Should we not encourage our citizens, students, teachers, politicians, and other leaders to celebrate CO2 as the giver of life that it is? It is a proven fact that plants, including trees and all our food crops, are capable of growing much faster at higher levels of CO2 than present in the atmosphere today. Even at today's concentration of 400 parts per million, 0.04%, four one-hundredths of one percent, are relatively starved for nutrition. The optimum level of CO2 for plant growth is about five times higher, 2,000 parts per million. Yet the alarmists warn it is already too high. They must be challenged every day by every person who knows the truth in this matter. CO2 is the giver of life, and we should celebrate CO2 rather than denigrate it as is the fashion today. We are witnessing the greening of the earth as higher levels of CO2, due to human emissions from the use of fossil fuels, promotes increased growth of plants around the world. This has been confirmed by scientists with CSIRO in Australia, in Germany in research forests, and in North America in wild forests. Only half of the CO2 we are emitting from the use of fossil fuels is showing up in the atmosphere. The balance is going somewhere else. And the best science says most of it is going into an increase in biomass of global plant life. What could be wrong with that as forests and agricultural crops become more productive?